नमस्ते टू ऑल डियर वॉरियर्स हियर आई एम विथ ए न्यू वीडियो रिलेटिंग टू कास्ट अकाउंटिंग शॉर्ट क्वेश्चन आंसर्स डिस्कशन नवंबर दिसंबर 2019 पेपर वी आर गोइंग टू डू विद दिस ऑलमोस्ट ऑल क्वेश्चन पेपर्स ऑफ प्रीवियस वी हैव वी विल फिनिश सो व्हाट आर द थिंग्स गिवन इन दिस क्वेश्चन पेपर लेट अस सी सी आई फाउंड टाइम एट थ्री ओ क्या करेंगे टाइम नहीं मिल रहा वीडियो प्रिपेयर करने कुछ ना कुछ डिस्टरबेंस रहते डे टाइम अभी ट्रेन आ रहा ओके लेट अस सी दी क्वेश्चंस गिवन कास्ट शीट जस्ट इन टाइम परचेस इनडायरेक्ट कास्ट Features of job costing, abnormal gain. All these are theory questions. Okay, theory क्या है पढ़ के जाना Already I gave this as important questions also. From the following information given below, calculate EOQ. EOQ you can easily do. Annual usage 800 units. That is your A. Purchase price rupees 10 per unit. ओके okay, ये परचेज प्राइस है ऑर्डरिंग कॉस्ट पर ऑर्डर रुपीज एटी दिस इज योर ओ कैरिंग कॉस्ट रुपीज ट्वेंटी परसेंट पर यूनिट कॉस्ट सो व्हाट इज योर पर यूनिट कॉस्ट रुपीज टेन इंटू ट्वेंटी परसेंट सो इट विल बी टू रुपीज दैट इज योर कैरिंग कॉस्ट सी सो विद दिस वी कैन इजीली डू द इवो क्यू प्रॉब्लम सो क्वेश्चन नंबर सिक्स नवंबर दिसंबर 2019 सो हियर वी आर हैविंग क्वेश्चन नंबर सिक्स रिलेटेड डेटा वर्किंग नोर आर आर डेटा गिवन एनुअल यूसेज ए 8000 थाउजेंड यूनिट्स ऑर्डरिंग कास्ट पर ऑर्डर ओ एटी रुपीज परचेज प्राइस पर यूनिट रुपीज टेन कैरिंग कास्ट पर यूनिट per annum of purchase price 20% so 10 into 20% it is c is equals to 2 rupees calculation of evoq how you will calculate evoq evoq is equals to under root 2 a o by c okay under root 2 a o by c 2 into 8000 a annual consumption rupees 80 o and this c is 2 rupees given in the question if you just present them in the uh, formula you will get 12 lakh 80000 2 into 8000 into 80 divided by 2 rupees next uh, if you divide you will get under root 6 lakh 40000 6 lakh 40000 root will be evoq is equals to 800 units so ye kya so question number a 6 is over let us see the question number 7 this is also easy one we can easily solve this one also see the question number 7 here we are having question number 7 the following information is extracted from job ledger of devi enterprises for job number 454 material cost 6800 okay wages 100 rupees at uh, 100 hours 8 rupees 5 per hour so 100 hours into 5 rupees 500 it will be if you add this two you will get prime cost as there is no direct expenses then variable overheads for all jobs 10000 rupees for 5000 labor hours so variable overheads is equals to 10000 divided by 5000 hours it will be 2 rupees per hour into how many hours we have worked 100 hours for job number 454 so 100 into 2 rupees it will be 200 that will be your variable overheads next what they are saying 
find out profit if job is billed at 9000 that is your selling price per job is 9000 what will be your profit that is what asking easy question hai asan sa a jayega answer aapko has you already did such a problems many times so question number seven answer in the books of devi enterprises statement showing job cost sheet job number 454 particulars amount amount material cost 6800 wages 100 hours into 5 rupees 500 if you add both prime cost as there is no direct expenses prime cost 7300 hope till here there is no doubt cleared everything so add factory overheads variable overheads per hour how to calculate total for all job 10,000 rupees divided by 5,000 hours per hour it is 2 rupees 2 rupees into for job number 454 you have worked 100 hours so 100 hours into 2 rupees it will be 200 if you add to prime cost 7,300 your factory cost or total cost as there is no other additional expenses administration or selling this will be your total cost we don't know profit just now okay so add profit okay h minus f what is your h sale value of job build is 9000 given in the question so 9000 minus 7500 it will be 1500 so 9000 minus 7500 1500 this ends the question number uh, question number what we call seven question number eight as it is there but for your purpose i wrote that question also because it is little tricky one okay the output of process x was 5000 units normal loss okay normal loss was 10 uh, 10 percent of input this is output of process x please remember this is output and normal loss is 5 percent or 10 percent of input which we don't know abnormal loss was 400 units the following further information is obtained material material rupees uh, 5 rupees per unit overhead 6700 labor 8000 wastage realized 2.5 per unit prepare process x account okay we'll prepare process x account but before that i want to clarify few things what is your abnormal loss normal output minus actual output okay what is your abnormal loss 400 units given okay what is your normal output we don't know minus actual output 5000 is given so if you take this 5000 other side normal output will become 400 plus 5000 it will be 5400 normal output what is <coughs> your normal output means normal output another thing is what input minus input minus normal loss so normal loss is 10 percent of input means input will be 100 percent so 100 minus 10 it will be normal output 90 percent so for 90 percent if it is 5400 then i'm saying 90 percent equals to 5400 then 100% of input is how much just to cross multiplication so input is equals to 5400 into 100 divided by 90 ok 0 0 cancel 9 1s are 9 6s so here 1 0 only cancelled so it will be 6000 we need to calculate 
input or else you can do in the format which we generally do so here is the calculation of generally we calculate normal loss normal output and input we are calculating now generally input will be given in process x so particulars one percentage column i, ta I have taken one uh, units column okay first we don't know these things okay don't write for understanding purpose don't write these things okay firstly itself so input minus normal loss will be your normal output so input we don't know normal loss 10 percent they said so on input so input will be 100 percent 100 percent 100 minus 10 percent it will be 90 and abnormal loss is given 400 units take 400 okay from normal output if you deduct abnormal loss or add abnormal gain you will get actual output so here in this question already abnormal loss is given 400 units and actual output is given 5000 units so from this output normal output if you deduct abnormal loss you will get actual output but here we are having actual output and abnormal loss so instead of deducting from normal output we need to add to actual output abnormal loss so ye add kar diye to aapko upar amount a jayega 5400 see 5000 kaise aata generally is me se ye minus kare to aata but we are having 5400 so add okay next ab ye 5400 90% ke liye hai to ye 100% ka kitna hota so iske liye calculate karna padega aisa 5400 into 100 divided by 90 so 100 into 90 it will be 6000 units normal loss 10 percent of input that will be 6000 into 10 percent 600 5400 just now we have calculated from he if you add these two or if you deduct this one from this you will get normal out now everything we are having let us prepare the process account process x account particulars unit amount particulars unit amount थोड़े चीजें पहले से नहीं पता रहता प्रोसेस अकाउंट में तो पहले से मत लिखो यू डोंट राइट ऑल दिस थिंग्स हां मटेरियल मटेरियल रुपीस 5 पर यूनिट 6000 यूनिट्स वी हैव इंट्रोड्यूस वर्किंग नोट 1 अभी अभी कैलकुलेट करें आपने सो so, 6000 into 5 रुपीस इट इज 30000 लेबर 8000 ओवरहेड्स 6700 total comes to 44700 debit side and credit side normal loss 600 units we are having at 5 uh, 2.5 normal loss realizes at 2.5 they said so 2.5 into uh, 600 it will be 1500 it will be 1500 a train bar bar satara after writing this much we need to calculate cost per good unit we will calculate now so cost per good unit calculation of cost per good unit cpgu cost incurred in the process minus amount realized from normal loss divided by normal output this is your debit side total that is cost incurred in the process 44700 and normal loss 1500 normal output 5400 units so from 44000 
700 if you deduct 1500 it will be 43 200 so 43 200 divided by 5400 per unit it is 8 rupees 8 rupees per unit you will get so your abnormal loss and actual output will be calculated at rupees 8 per unit let us see in the process account by abnormal loss 400 units at 8 rupees it will be 3200 by finished goods or output of process x 8 and 8 rupees 5000 units actual output so 5000 into 8 it will be 40000 40000 plus 3200 plus 1500 comes to 44700 here and the answer this this calculation is little tricky one please remember this point which one this one aapke paas input percentage hai input percentage only we are having okay you will get normal loss per, normal output percentage and we are having actual output 5400 and abnormal loss 400 it will be 5400 or else in other method we did not just now normal out oh sorry abnormal loss equals to normal output minus actual output so abnormal loss 400 units normal output we don't know normal output right normal output minus actual output 5000 so if you take this other side it will be normal output is equals to 400 plus 5000 so normal output 5400 similarly input minus normal loss will become normal output so input 100% minus normal loss 10% will become 90% for 90 percent if it is 5400 for 100 percent how much cross multiplication that is what we did here okay aise bhi kar sakte ya directly waise bhi kar sakte process account aisa karna hai bas okay i did my best to explain this problem thoda tricky hai samajh mein aaya nahi aaya to fir se ek bar dekhna video aur सीखते रहो क्योंकि सीखना बन तो जीतना बन और ये वीडियो पे लाइक करो शेयर करो दोस्तों को बिकॉज शेयरिंग इज केयरिंग एंड यू पीपल आर नॉट सेल्फिश आई नो तो एक लाइक करो और शेयर करो दोस्तों को ऑलमोस्ट ऑल प्रीवियस एग्जाम क्वेश्चन पेपर्स we have covered of short questions hmm. prepare three units perfectly kisi ko problems karne mein mushkil ho raha to first unit mein theory question se theory pad lo three units perfection is required okay hmm aur kuch bolne ka nahi subscribe nahi kare to subscribe karo neend aa rahi mujhe jai hind